Hello right, guys, welcome back to another video. Got to sort out this train track before we can run anything on it. So I have got some running specials today between HST's mostly today. Might be a few others to run beside them, but we'll see. And yes, I haven't really got any line two working as yet. I haven't got that far. Um, I've been occupied with other videos recently. On top of all that, I mean, it's leading up to Christmas, and Christmas Day is only just beginning of next week. I have got too much to do. So. I can't, I can't be honest if I am going to do a Christmas Eve video this year because of the day it falls on. Uh, because it falls on the Sunday this year, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do a Christmas, uh, East, Christmas Eve video or not. Um, we'll see. I might do it as one occasion kind of thing, but we'll see. It's all dependent on if I have a time on Sunday. I might have a short video for you for Sunday. I might pre-make it for that, make it for the, make it on Saturday evening, and then on Sunday morning it can go up. So that way it can be pre-planned. But it'll be Christmas Eve Eve on Saturday. So yeah, so it's gonna be. Probably going to be filmed on Christmas Eve, Eve, evening. So I've recorded it and made it um, on Saturday, but it'll probably go on a, up on a Sunday. It's my last video for this year, I expect that one. And then for June next year, there will be um, plenty next year. Um, June from spring to, well, the only thing I want to say for next year's plan for the videos is there's going to be a lot less again next year with filming, um, especially during these time of the year, between winter months and part spring, there won't be many videos. During the uh, summertime, sure, there'll be plenty, but it's because right now there's not much of going on. Um, means that there's plenty going on for certain people but yeah right we got HST's running today um, and they're going to be multiple running today that's going to be the main threes so oops, GWR Castle set um, we've got the Welshman Castle is going to be running which is what that one is I checked it on the um, Done some like research on the HSTs. So I've got GW Castle's gonna be running tonight. Um we also got the Insidious gonna be running tonight and we're gonna run the GNR set as well. And there might be a few other mixed in between. Depends what we've got available for time and battery. We do have a first Great Western set, which is going to have a placement engine in it, but we'll just replace the unit once I've got the money to be able to do it. But probably East Coast is going to be the next one I'll probably get, or Midland Pullman, depending on what I prefer at the time next year. And of course, I've got to say, I'd like to find the real thing next year, the real Midland Pullman HST set. But Hopefully from next year when I do do that journey on the first class HST set in the blue and white. Hopefully by then I will be able to do that and get the best footage as possible. But on top of that I'm hoping we'll get 
many uh, other options with things like flower tools, my gold money with flower tools, which would be even in the employment. But as for any other flower tools I might go next year, probably won't be many. Right. Okay, we're at I'm five minutes in already, so welcome to a new, another new video for this week with the railway. What's the first train's going to run today? Well, I think my first choice of running is going to be Junior. I think that's my first choice of this evening. Just run my Junior set for a different choice. So we're running the Junior sets is one of my oldest one. Had this in the beginning of this year. So she's a little grindy on the back wheels, but expected because the pickups are quite tight. Um, we'll just get the carriages and the power car in front of her and then we'll get her moving. So I'll just put the power car on next and then we'll grab her carriages. I've got some interesting news for us about the Rally Group for next year. Um, the next one will be on the 15th of January. Um, which means that I've got only some busy organising, oops, busy organising of the new layout at the Rally Group for next month. So I've got to pre plan that one. I have no idea how that's all going to work, to be honest, <laughs> but we'll see. Hopefully that some other people can come and help me with it, but hopefully. Hopefully it, it will work. Right, we'll get the Junior HST running around now. Oh, she's going backwards. <laughs> When's the last time she's run backwards? Ooh. It's been a little while, but this layout does not really, she doesn't really like going back on this train. You want to know what's going to happen with the valley during uh, the holiday, Christmas holiday? Um, I think we'll do the change in the valley during this holiday. Coming up, I've got plenty planned for it, and um, it will give me plenty of opportunity to run test line two during my break uh, over Christmas, and it will give me an idea if I can run many HSTs from next year as well. But it would also give me an idea where where the track's going to be put, exactly where it's going to be put before. So for the platforms, and there's going to be a footbridge, and then it'll be simple signals. It's going to be bundled of stuff um, pre-planned for next year. Of course, there'll be the train journey going up to Wales next year, which <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I really am. I'm looking forward to 
do that next year it's going to be a wonderful mo memory to do and i think playing any pictures and enjoying it. probably a dedicated video for it just because it'll be a rare opportunity i'll ever take like something like that and it'll be on my passionate train as well which is even better So let's catch her going around. We'll try and get a couple of shots for each one. She would look better when she's got an egg card set on her, but at the moment I don't have that available option for her at the moment for my junior teacher's tea, which it's a shame because I would really like to have my junior in an egg card set, um, which would be the max limit on the slout because the slout is just too narrow and too short to really to have it any longer in an egg card set. In real life, I think the junior HSTs as well as the East Coast were between eight and nine car sets, I think, a lot of the time, weren't they? I think they were a lot of the time. They tend to go in eights or nines between the two power cars anyway. They were certainly not anything bigger than eight and nine car sets. I don't think they were. They might have been on some special occasions, but generally because they're a <laughs> lack of um, a space for every person to get on them but yeah because countries used to pull between seven to eight car sets i think back in the day well back very recently actually it was uh, most of this, this summer and most of spring part of autumn and then yeah right towards the end of the retirement life i think they only pulled 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 two in when in the last days of running in the uk they only pulled a certain amount i think it was five in the last day of their running which is unusual because country to pull only two of them i think the next one to run up is going to be the in city isn't it and then we'll do gw castle then We'll do um, GB Cargo at the end of the video, which would be nice for the end of the video. So, In City is up next. Now, I haven't totally sure if I've totally run them in yet between the castle and the classical In City blue and yellow. Um, <laughs> the only downside, I'm going to have to lean over to grab the carriages. So, that is the slight downside and slightly annoying I have to do is to lean over and grab them, but sometimes it's necessary, especially when I've got so much any other things I've got to do during this upcoming week, 
Christmas holidays and it's literally a good thing holiday. Spending time with family, spend time with close friends and of course it's all about giving and sharing times and stuff in your face for them and food. <laughs> but it's mostly all about spending time with family isn't it Christmas. So yeah, it's that sort of time of year for a lot of people. Here we go, let's bring the inside to the hand there. Got a couple of rounds of there. I guarantee this train, the passport you sit in, probably in the yellow, must be a market site C back in the day, before my generation, of course. But I'm imagining that the foot of the outside, doing a little bit of this here, putting the inner city as well on the tail of it, and it was putting the other passport in the city, the dark of it, filming the dark of it, the yellow, and the back. Front, then you watch the next news going in. But yeah, it is not a good I'm sure that's disconnected. I'm pretty happy with the two car set in my car. Again, I want to get her in eight car set as well. Make her, and a buffet to go in the middle of them. And I think that will make it less sandy. Because obviously these classical sets used to go in a nine car set because obviously they have a buffet in the middle. In the restaurant car. Back in the day. trying to focus on so yes next year won't be so many videos again at least until why the specials are not running because there's a chance the castles are not really going to be around much next year you might see the off one or two poking around but most of them are going to be either abroad or somewhere else <laughs> which is true because i don't know so I'm very curious to see what the next new trains are going to be because it's not just going to be the Germans, I don't think. It's going to be probably something else as well as those sets. I think we'll probably get some of the third rail electric trains come down here, but at the moment that's not the case. But I think in time we might well do get some trains like that coming through. But at the moment, we just don't get any of those things. Just a hug of thing behind. We need to go and grab a trailer, just dunk it gently, because we don't want to derail it or damage the unit. 
which is definitely a big no go. You definitely do not want to dumb cream this. I'll be gutted if I dumb down with my haters' teas. These are my prior possessions <laughs> when it comes to my models. These are my prior possession models. My big love for the HSC has always been a big thing, but it's never going to change. Even an old, I don't think it will change. Even I build my dream now, bit by bit, every year, to find the right, basically the right picture or image I can have imagined in my head, just marking out where everything can be on my lap, my dream lap, for the HSTs, from era to era. For the heritage line, for the HST. So you have GWR, you have the GNR, Grand Centuries, Coast, Virgin, MMER. And even the Coast Rail one will be down here, as well as Midland Pullman, as well as the Cusk Entry. All of them, all those liveries, are going to be on this line, including Grand Central. <laughs> yeah, so there's going to be a lot of HSTs on this my dream map, which is a good thing because it means. Um, well, it's not just me showing my love for the HST, but it's also showing my respect for them as well, because the next well, I've been in the project for the Great Railway for many years. They're, they're sleek, they're elegant, they're high they're reliable, and, you know, they're fast, they're comfortable, and, you know, they're happy. Some of the early ones, like the Unicetti, had bucket cuts, which <laughs> the cars are just don't. The cars are going to have a lot of direction. I think they should, especially if they're going to have cars. I mean, they should do that as a little thing up to themselves. You know, on modern car sets, which have only been made painted, I don't think they've been done. I think they're still pretty dated from the time when they first released on the Retrowing Network, but as for the, um, the chairs on the inside the castles are very comfortable, I would say that, from what I have learned in the travel in with them, they're very comfortable sets, definitely. connections down here is an issue. I can't look at it after I've done video. I didn't have enough time. Mm. Okay. We're going around to a stop. We're going to slow down until we get to the station. Get into the shot of the camera. No, that's not quite it. A little bit closer. <laughs> Saying that, she's a little too close to the camera. There we go. So, yeah, she's of a beauty of a vanish, but so is the GNR. And the GNR is the first HST I ever owned, um, which is one I do remember rather well when I was young, the GNR, because I remember seeing them quite a lot when we used to live in Cambridge years ago in East Anglia. We used to see them quite a lot um, at London Station, um, London's King, London King's Cross. I think it's the name of the station. We used to see them quite a lot there. We used to pull out on platform seven or eight, and they would literally power themselves out of the station, going up um, to Scotland, and they were powerful machines. And they still are. I mean, you've got the castles still the ones that the pure left. <laughs> um, and you've got the Coast Well set, as well as the Midland Pullman, I guess. Which 
is also rather nice. Because the Midland Pullman, it is a nice train. Even it's in these blue and white colours. It's an explosion train really. The Midland Pullman, how you just use that. With this blue and white colour scheme with a marker light on the top of the cab. It's something very different about that one. Stands out very different from the other set we have seen. I mean, on top of that, it's first class. The whole thing is first class on that train. I mean, literally. <laughs> first class slash uh, dining, both, you know, basic uh, restaurant car. Dedicate for people who want to drink, eat. That goes from normal drinks alcohol to meals first class meals from being luxury i mean you get seen in the window which is really good in my opinion if anyone starts driving the luxury they can have first class they can have window seat and they can choose the they want and drinks when I want to drink on the journey join the, the luxury experience What's happening with the parcel counts? You turn about real life <laughs> Honestly, I'm more proud about my GWR parcel set 43187 is the Welshman Castle, believe it or not. Now, well, the only thing I'm guarded about is having this my model version of the Welshman Castle set. It doesn't have the dragon, it also doesn't have the symbol saying Welshman Castle, which is kind of annoying <laughs> because this model here can cost me about £327. That's without the, the uh, luxury with the, with the stickers and the the badge for the dragon, the silver dragon on it. <laughs> you should, for that price, you should have the, the badge as well as the uh, lettering saying the Welshman Castle on it. With, on the back of this model, put in the uh, train car, it is the um, thingy castle. I can't remember, is it Compton Castle? Yeah, this one's a Compton castle on the back. And I know that because obviously from my level of experience, you know it's not everyone's experience, but from my own experience, the Compton Castle was a run by was it run by GWR? I think it was. But um go push, I think she might be On the Welshman. I'm not quite sure what's going on with the uh, I have been over a while, but for some weird reason, it might be the track, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, the let me well, let me know any of you guys in the cons please let me know if what most favourite HS here is yours between GWR, in city, cross country, midland foreman, uh commercial set or and many other in different parts of the UK. Let me know what your most favourite HS feel about and more. Let me know in the comments below. I'll read them during my break and uh, have a look at them. But um, yeah, I'm curious to know what your most favourite hunter skis are.
I'll have to have a look at that track in a minute because I don't want to have the BB cargo going around and it keeps on disconnecting of signals from the track. problem is up that end. So if she bursts in the life and then moves around on the track, that's probably means there's a fault in the uh, connections of the track, not her. Well, there's still lights at the back end, so turn that over the way. The faults in the connection that we see. And she's going off with that whole thing to do. Right, I'm just gonna be out of shot for a second. Then let her go through, take the train to everyone. I'm going to change the signal, if she starts to, if she comes near me, I take her to try this too. That's only just come off the board. I'm very glad that I caught the train. <laughs> Not saying it's off the floor on the highway, but it's still kind of scary to think, even from a small height. These models can easily break because they're that delicate. But being that they're my prime possession models, I'm not going to let them do that. Because, yeah, they're very expensive model. They're premium, they're premium models by Hornby, but you know, they stopped making them quite a while ago, quite a few of them. I think the last one they'd done was the cars set last year or the year before. They did the uh, cars sets. I think they did it as a celebration thing. I think after, was it 45 years or 50 years of service up in the county, further up in the county, between London, Cardiff, and part of the southwest. Well, East, east of the county, parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland area. Is this Scotland or is it Ireland? I can't remember. It did the East Coast one. I know East Coast did part of Ireland, didn't it? What's going on this? Something's doing a bit. Sure what's going on there. Shouldn't have any interference with the train. Come on, Castle, let's get your cars again. I like to go around and catch the same car. Which is good. Need to get a training car on and then I'll put a motor back on. <laughs> you might notice what my most favourite HST is. <laughs> I've got many King choices. I like all of them pretty much. The only one I don't like is the what they call it. The very adventure HST that it's on. I'm not that keen on that one, especially because it's got buffers on and the colour scheme is really weird. Yeah, the signal's gone, but I'll tell you what I put on earlier from there. It's the motor. I don't know if it's the motor specifically. No. I don't think it's that, it's not the motor that's the problem. I think it's the controller. The controller's got some fault issues, which means the controller's gonna be, gonna be replaced at some point soon. I need a better control system for my hybrid layout. 
and his ring mount is going to be hybridized. So my gauge mount combi would be used for one line, the other one will be used for digital system. Um, I might go with, not gauge master, but I might go with lens for the digital controls. Or I might use um, computerized system. I'm not 100% sure at this point. But I'm making a style from this upcoming year. Um, getting it down and everything. Once she stops again, we're going to take off and talk over the car guys. But yeah, as some of you might know, some of you might not. But yeah, my most fashion train is the HSTs. My conversation on the whole hour is the HSTs. That's why I look after them and keep them running them in good order. I make sure everything is running tip-top condition. Same for the DB Cargo Car 66 as well, because she's my favourite freight train i ever seen. <laughs> I know it's a bit odd, but I do like my favourite freight trains when it comes to putting tankers or transporters for cars or vans. They are key for the main lines too. Without the freight trains, we wouldn't have things delivered to our shops or <laughs> transporting vehicles to one county to another. Uh, all these sort of trains that we have running now, which are our network, we would have all of what we have now. But thanks to the trains being there to help us in that way, getting our food. And probably in some way using that way of transporting the petrol, diesel from one county to another. But I think a lot of time they do use lorries, don't they? A lot of the time. How fast can the 66 go in real life? I think. I'm not even sure how fast they generally go. I think in real life they had a top speed of around about 80 mile an hour, I think. Because they were more designed for strength than speed. They were more designed for the strength than more the speed. Because they were designed for heavy cargo. But in some occasions I'm sure they dig out the speed of 90 miles an hour probably. But it'd be a rare thing if they ever get above that speed. A lot of the time. They usually sit between 70 and 80 miles an hour. Anything above 80, very rare. Unless they're empties and you know they're not really doing much with them for that particular day, then sure there might be. Oops, sorry guys. What happened? Did I just zoom in or something? I have no idea what happened. Still recording apparently. But, um, yeah, 38 minutes so far. I think I just caught the phone by accident. Ah, well, one of those things, I guess. <sighs> so yeah, Christmas Day, I'm going to be... Christmas Eve, I'm going to be starting to have my break over Christmas. And then I'll come back probably around about... <sighs> I don't know when. Some point, maybe after January, I'll come back sometime beginning of February. Um, unless I go out around late January, which is possible, depending on when I get my computer sorted. Um, I might, once I've got my computer sorted, it's going to make my life a little easier because I can't rely on my phone constantly for filming because the battery is not, well, it's not bad, but... It uses drains much too much of the battery up, which is why I don't really like using it constantly when I'm filming because it does have a drain in the battery rather quickly. <laughs> it's not very great, especially when you want to film for like three to four hours a day on it 
it should well four days a week film on this phone in 4k which does drain the battery rather quickly that's why i'm very careful trying not to overuse it because i do want to use it for um either buying things or this and then use it or you know just the odd things here and there with jeremy or watching my program because my laptop does not work at the moment which means that i'm constantly relying on my phone for a lot of my stuff which means for me, I'm kind of stuck in between the two problems of having the option of buying new trains after Christmas or getting a computer. Which means that I'm going to have to restart everything on my new system when I get it, which is going to be extremely sucky. Because that means I'm going to have to restart all the videoing, my editing. It's just going to be annoying to have to redo all that. When I replaced my last laptop, mm, I would say probably just under a year ago. Um, I think it was early this year. I last. Yeah, I would say it around just under a year ago. I got it. The laptop I got now, it was just under a year ago. Why do I have a place now? Well, why do I do that? What is the problem? Sixty-six as well. Not sure what's going on, but yeah, you can see my companions. I was around the corner, sitting on my chair. Um, but if you want to see some more um, interesting videos, you have to check out my other channels. Um, specifically on the one particular channel, if you want me to talk about certain topics which covers on one particular channel alone you has to go and check that channel out because that's the only channel i will share it on but um yeah um <laughs> but first 
the main channel is this one with the trains and the, the mainline trains and how judged and my models it's all going to be for the trains um scenes and with the odd adventure videos every now and again but mostly it's going to be for the trains there will be no talking videos from next year there will be the odd one probably for updates and stuff like that but just random chat videos it will be just for the other channels of which as i said there will be um a chat channel which i still got set up at the moment which might change but we'll see but at the moment that's as what it is at the moment so yeah it's is what it is i'm just gonna quickly as well, i'm getting close to the end of my video off i won't just quickly chest the um that's the um junior hst it's the final time for the season. Make sure the signal's working well on it. Because earlier we did have some signal issues with the track is not performing as well as it should, which happens quite a lot. <sighs> 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 And imagine on the mainline trains, on the real tracks. And imagine that probably does happen from time to time. The tracks are a bit faulty. But imagine, like, things like on the Hadji lines, main lines do get checked more regularly than Hadji lines do because Hadji lines are operated by volunteers. Which is a good thing because it means it's how kids deserve old fashioned railways to keep them alive. And yeah, it's nice to see the mixture um, this year between multiple choices of trains. And when I can, I will catch the more of the castles go through, which hopefully I will catch a couple of them maybe over on this coming Thursday. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to be riding them, but I'm hoping I might catch some on camera. Um, Christmas Eve video is going to be on Sunday. I'm going to make it probably for half an hour. Um, as maybe a running video, it's a Christmas Eve video. Because as my past videos with the Christmas Eve videos were done, they've never been well, well planned out, so to speak. They've never been massively great <laughs> when it comes to particular videos like that. I've never been really well thought out in my videos. But yeah, this year I might do one. It's on a Sunday, which is very unnormal. Not very normal for me to film on a Sunday. But that is my last video for this year, so I probably will do it on, on Sunday. This upcoming Sunday. As my last video for this year. Until. <laughs> Till the new year comes around and then it all starts again. Another year. So let's go on. Then we should walk. Why is the carriage derails on one end? I believe the GNL was also first class of one for its time. The time the train was first class, I think. Or well, I think at least a big percentage of the train was. I think the last two carriages were open standards. Open standards. As you can see, you know what I mean? My special trains running around on my HT route, which you can see in front of you, is a HST. But when you go to the delivery, these trains retired in 2008 and um, they got taken over by East Coast, I believe, in the year 2008. The last service that was running 
in 2000, was it January, or was it May or June, I can't remember, but I think it was in June, 2008, 2000, in 2008, in June 2008, this is the last service that was doing a set run um, from London, London, uh, not London Pantin, London Pancreas, I think it was. Could have been London Pancreas, I can't remember entirely. Um, but yeah, in June 2008, this was the last service that it was running from London to Scotland. And I think the high speed of this train was 130 miles an hour, I think, which crossed the tyre railway network from London to Scotland. This train is just over 130 trying that stretch between London and Scotland and as he was doing so, going through between London and I can't remember what I was going through but we ran back on a single train to this I'm not sure if we were on this, this type of service 43 uh, I can't even remember if she was the 43 was a preserved one. Let me have a look. GNER HST 43105. I'm not entirely sure if she was a preserved one, but I think a few of them were preserved and they got pointed up in GWR liveries as they came down to Cornwall. Uh, let's have a look. But I think this particular model, which I own now, um, since beginning of this year, means that, uh, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I think this particular model was, in the other real thing, was, I think, sadly scrapped. I think because it has an engine fault or something with it, or this is sad scrap it for any reason. I'm not sure why. But yeah, as I say before, it's a sad thing to see so much enough trains being scrapped or being sold off to another county. It's a sad thing to see, but um, I mean, the best thing you can do is have them in your memory is to ride as many as you can, what's left of them, and try to get a picture of them put up in your bedroom wall. And try to collect as many model versions of them you can, no matter what scale you get them in. It does not matter. But we are going to end the video off here. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, I will catch you guys all in tomorrow's video. I'll tell you what my plan is for the tomorrow's video yet, yeah. but I'll think about it before the 10 a.m. comes around. Um, I'm not totally sure it'll be filming in the morning tomorrow. Um, we'll have to see depending on what's really happening tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I'm running trains tomorrow, I'm doing video gameplay, I might do a special video for the other channels. I have no idea right now, but. I'll think it over and see what I could probably come up with. And until then, I hope you guys have a great evening. Um, and I'll, have, I'll catch you guys in the next week. It will be tomorrow, every morning or evening. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you can keep yourself up to date with my videos. And you can also follow my Twitter, well, you can follow me on my Twitter and my Instagram page if you wish to. Um, and you can follow me on, on all my other channels um, if you wish to as well. Links to all of those in the description below. And until tomorrow, have a great evening guys. I'll catch you all guys in tomorrow. Peace out.